Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here. And in today's video, it's going to be about Cinema 4D's updates. The things that are coming up. Um, we are going to talk about some of them and the things that we expect to see in the updates of Cinema 4D that's coming. So if you've not seen, on Magzone's website and social media handles, they've actually posted their four announcements where they are going to talk about their products, which includes Cinema 4D, Redshift, Red Giant, um, ZBrush, and forger as well all of them they are going to talk about updates and stuff related related to all their products but what we are interested in is cinema 4d and definitely if you've also followed cinema 4d you know around this time september usually they announce um their new version of cinema 4d which usually is the r version right so they have the s which is the subscription version and the r which is like the full version which you can have both subscription and without subscription as well so that's what you, we are interested in so we are going to talk about some of the things that are coming like definitely which we know it will come because they've been a little bit of preview about it and then after that the things that we hope to see and things we wish it could be in cinema 4d then uh, update the first thing we are going to talk about um, is simulation so in cinema 4d r26 cinema 4d introduced new um, this new simulation system where you could do cloth and ropes and stuff and it was quite fast and has whole new kind of interface and everything which was very interesting so in this coming update one thing that's definitely going to be in there is that there's a bit of new um upgrade with the simulation system so for instance with this particular picture i have here you can see the if you go into the simulation tag you can see we have cloth now we have rope now there's new tag in there called soft body you have the connector cloth belt rope belt collider and now there is also balloon which in the old one it was there though but it was part of the um cloth system and it, it was part of the whole thing so there's a bit of updates on in the simulation all right and if you actually go into the attributes of it as well so for instance in this image um you can see with the attributes we have like some new so for instance something like the balloon in the previous version was just part of the whole cloth system it wasn't it wasn't having its own tab but now you can see we have a tab for balloon soft body and mixed animation plastic deformation and all of that all of them weren't in the previous version right now the next the other thing is the mixed animation with the mixed animation what it basically does is that um it helps you for you to have a little bit of control over your animation so add direct your um, simulations so for instance with you having an object which is already animated and you add like let's say the cloth object uh, cloth tag to it you know in instantly the cloth simulation takes over and your animation is disregarded but then with this mix animation with a little bit of adjustment and stuff what they are trying to do is that you can actually have a little bit of control how your simulation goes so your animation plus the simulation right which can give it a little bit of directable stuff so for instance you have um something peeling and or some cloth opening in a way and all of that so that's one thing that's going to be in there with the coming update of cinema 4d and there are a lot of things that you can do with this i mean this was just a preview and they, it wasn't like deep into everything so you can't tell everything so on the simulation side these are the few things that at least was previewed and we hope there are a lot of things interesting things that you can do with that so the next thing that i believe will be in there will be um redshift uh, material stacking in cinema 4d so if you see use cinema 4d and cinema 4d is default material you know you can create several materials for instance i have this qb i can create um several materials and apply to it for instance i can add this material like the white and i can also add this one and make let me make it red you see and i can come in let's say the alpha and use something like the surface um checkerboard and you can see we have we've applied two materials we see the white and we see the red as well right and it's two separate materials so i can change for instance select this particular material and change the projection to whatever projection i i, I like um cylindrical whatever and that's one advantage with cinema 4d's uh, material stacking 
right but with redshift if you want to do something like this in cinema 4d in, in previous version you couldn't you couldn't do something like this but in the coming um updates that was previewed earlier um you i think it's something that they, they are working on which you can actually do that material stacking so you don't have to do a uh, material blending within redshift with one material and with that you don't have control over the uvs for every separate material so i think that's what what they are doing so for instance i have this redshift materials here and if i apply the red it's applied here now if i apply the blue ideally we should be seeing it but let's bring the redshift render preview, uh, render view and if i bring the render view um and we hit render you can see the rendering is only showing um the material that's the render view so it's only showing the blue material it's not showing the red if i bring the red you can see it's only the red that's showing all right so basically it doesn't recognize um the red like the one this particular material it all always recognize this the last material so that's what um in the coming update is also been previewed that it's something that will be and i'm very excited especially about this particular feature so one thing i quickly want to add is that i'm not saying definitely that this is the only thing that's going to come or this is the only thing that's going to be in there because i actually don't have the software myself but this is something that the previewed during um sigraph so it's something i believe it's going to come so that's what i'm talking about is i'm not even i can't 100 percent say that it's actually going to be there but it's something they preview so i believe in the coming update it will be there but then i i don't have like i can't see for a fact because i don't have the software myself aside these two things that was previewed at sigraph i believe there's going to be several other stuff in it but personally things i wish could be in there is like so me seeing the cloth system and how fast it works and everything i wish or i hope this coming update will have something like the dynamic system with proper um uh, rigid body dynamics and all of those that uh, stuffs working as fast as the cloth system that was introduced in r26 so something that's what i wish it could be in there to increase the simulation and make dy dynamics fast in cinema 4d Right. Also, um, looking at Blender's geometry nodes and stuff with Cinema 4D C nodes, I wish you know, there could be a bit more work to it, improve a lot of stuff, even though in the previous version they added some few nodes and capsules and all of that. It was still cool, but I feel like there's more to be done with nodes in Cinema 4D, and I think it's something I'll be interested to see where it goes, like what they do to it right something like particles and all of those stuff i don't want to even talk about it because i don't believe cinema 4d is going to probably do any a new particle system anytime soon so that one i'm sure x particle is handling it for now also modeling stuff animation stuff all of those improvements too will be interesting i mean there are a lot of things that i personally wish could be in cinema 4d and I'm, i believe everybody has what they, they wish but at least for now what i probably want to see is like the sim since they've started with simulation stuff they should i wish they could go like entire simulation system with rigid body um cloths and everything and a unified system which can make them all interact so the cloth interacts with the, the rigid body dynamics and the um spline dynamics and hair dynamics and all of them working together as one that is something i hope to see in the coming um, version I don't know if it will be in there though, but it's something I wish it could be in there. And also, like I said, the notes, um, something I wish they could work on so that it can do a lot more interesting stuff with it. And I feel like there should be a little bit of education about the notes stuff as well out there, you know, because I feel that it has a lot of potential to. So personally, these are two things I wish it immediately or the, in the coming version will be in there then a bit feel a bit more about modeling and stuff as well but then i want you to also tell me what you wish could be in cinema 4d or what you think cinema 4d should do or could do better right i hope this video was interesting and let's all all wait and uh, let us all wait for um the coming week and see what cinema 4d will have for us there are, are also going to be updates or announcements about um the other products so zbrush um red giant red shift and all of them are going to have their yeah, announcements i don't know maybe there could be something from zbrush into cinema 4d again like the last time the way they brought in the 
zero measure stuff you know so let's see what happens thanks for watching and let's wait till the announcement is made see you guys in the next one